Welcome back, Sony Vice fans. Welcome to episode one of Alpha Cam Snacks. This episode, I'm going to walk you through. It's going to be very short. We're just going to show you some settings that you want to configure your computer to and your software to before you actually start using Alpha Cam. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing you want to do is come down to your search bar and just type in mouse. And you're going to see it's going to come up here. It's going to say mouse settings. You're going to click on mouse settings. Go to mouse settings. And up there in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see additional mouse options. Go ahead and click on that. And what you're going to see is the old schooly interface for settings. And go to pointer options. It's the one in the middle. It's the tab in the middle. And go to snap to. See how you can select and deselect. Go ahead and, and if you don't have this set up on your computer, guys, you're going to love this. Um, I didn't learn about this until about five or six years ago. Just go ahead and try this out. Go ahead and select snap to. Click apply. Click OK. And that's pretty much all I do when I'm setting up the PC side. Now let's go ahead and launch AlphaCam, and I'll show you some of the settings that I modify inside the actual AlphaCam programming environment before I get started. All right, we've got AlphaCam opened up, and you'll notice in this configuration we're using the Sasso default toolbar, and that's where we've taken the tools that we've used, and we break them down into three tabs. The first thing we want to do is go to the configurator, which is an icon that looks just like this. It's called Configure. And when you open this up, you go to General, and on the first page in Settings, it comes a default, I think, number of undos allowed. I think the default is 10. Go ahead and change that to 25 or 50. That lets you keep undoing. If you, if you chase the rabbit down the hole, it gives you a way to get back out. Okay? The other thing that you want to change when you set this up, the default for the save interval is 5 minutes. You want to set that to 1 minute. Okay? If you make a mistake, you don't want to lose 5 minutes of work. You only want to lose 1 minute of work. Okay? Trust me on this one. So go ahead and change that to one. And that's all you got to mess with under the settings command. The next thing I'm going to do is go down to view animation. This comes default with these two selected. What view animation does is if you're, if you're going from flatland to 3D, it does this little animation that sort of rotates it up nice and slow. You don't need that. I go ahead and deselect that just to speed things up and make it more snappy. Go to selection and make sure you've got highlight entities in a selected window and highlight valid solids on mouse over and disable the other two. Now, once you've got your configuration folders good to go, right next to that, there's a, a feature called add-ins. Add-ins are like um, things that add more capability to your software. Now, don't just come in here and start randomly clicking stuff and saying, oh, this is really interesting. Um, some of this stuff doesn't apply it to your piece of equipment. Some of it's for different types of machining. But I'll show you the ones that turn on that have some utility and I think you'll appreciate using. The first one we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to expand File. And notice I've got File Browser checked and Save Selected Items to a New Drawing. This is a very cool command that is enabled by, by clicking this checkbox. If you guys have not used Save Selected, you're going to want to start using this. And I'll have another class that's dedicated just to using Save Selected and what that's about. But for now, just turn it on. And then you're going to scroll down. The next thing you do is go to Machine. And when you come down here, you're going to select Pocket Machining and Shower Base Machining. In the event you decide you want to mill a shower base with your 5-axis saw, this is a feature that you're going to want to have turned on in order to do that. Again, we'll do another video in the future to show you how to do shower-based machining, but right now I'm just showing you how to enable all these functions. And the last thing you want to do is scroll down to Tools and Holders and make sure you, that you have Sync Tool Styles selected. When you're done with that, just click OK, and you're done. And that's all there is to it. Once you've made these basic setups, you're ready to start using AlphaCam. Stay tuned for our next video. I'm going to teach you guys how to use the Save Selected command. I'm going to try to do two or three of these a week and cover all the Alpha Cam things and all the knowledge that was shared with me. I'm going to try to share with you. So stay tuned. I'll be making more of these videos, and I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.